Hello guys, now I will show you how you can upgrade your PHP version in Laragon local server. So to upgrade the PHP version, first time you have to download your PHP 8 zip file. Just search on Google, download PHP 8. Then click on fast link. Then click on Windows download. If you are using Windows 10, then you have to click on the zip file where it has 64 threads set. Click on zip file. Then it will download a new zip file where it has PSP 8.1 version. It is downloading. Let's wait until it's download. So in the meantime, I can explain you why you need to upgrade your PSP version to 8. So if you are using PHP version 5.6 or 7.4 or 7. Point update something like that then you need to update the PHP version to 8.1 because in recently they have added the many things and they have major changes in PHP 8.1 version if you are using Laravel then it is it is will be very easy for you to switch PHP 8 to 7.4 or 5.6 so I'm I'm personally a big fan of Laragon local server than Jump or WAM because in the Laragon you can easily switch to any 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 version on PSP where you want. So that's why you should use Laragon to switch the PSP version easily. okay now zip file is downloaded now you have to move this zip file to into your laravel file php file so let's copy it then open your laravel software then click on root then go back to your root directory where you have installed laravel then go to bin then PSP, then paste it here. Extract the zip file. Now deleted the zip file. So here is the PSP 8.1 records file. So now it's turn to enable it. In Laragon UI, you can see that there has a PSP. Now you can see the latest 8.1 version here just click on it then start your server now let's check if it's running on PSP 8.1 version now I will check the PSP version from the browser so let's create a new directory PSP paste then a new file index.php Let's access to the project. Now write a small function to check the PHP version. Yes, you can see there as showing PHP version 8.1.3. So now we need to switch again to the 7.4. So let's switch it. Then restart the server again. Start all. 7, 7.4. stop start so you can see that I can switch the PHP version without any problem so you need to restart the server before switching before or after switching the version so thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel to support me. Thank you.